Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to another episode of Train Simulator. It's Train Sim Classic that we're on today and we're driving this class 444 from uh, Southampton Central all the way down to Bournemouth. This scenario is from the wonderful Magic Toad. There is a link in the description where you can pick this scenario up and uh, yeah, we'll just, uh, we'll just pop that on there, pop a bit of lighting on. Uh, we've not got to forget to uh, acknowledge our config, which is a double set today. And uh, yeah, everything's looking fine and dandy. Uh, yep, that's jolly good. Everybody's uh, everybody's brilliant. We're all happy. So we are running approximately five minutes late due to an issue with the train. Given a good run, you should be able to make some of this time back. Your service details are as follows. So it's one whiskey, five, nine. I never bother with the, uh, the GSMR. I know some people like doing that. I personally can never be bothered. Uh, we are going to be calling at Southampton, uh, which is where we are now. Brockenhurst, New Milton, Christchurch, Pokesdown and Bournemouth, where we are doing for 10.59. We'll see what happens, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, traffic is apparently quite light today. I'm hoping we'll get some good scenery en route. And, uh, and I can't really complain, to be honest with you. We're using the Armstrong Powerhouse Enhanced Class 444, which uh, is truly wonderful to drive. It's a really lovely drive on, uh, on this particular unit. Uh, there's a link again in the description if you want to go and check that out. I can't say that I blame you. Uh, they do have, uh, I think the original 444 is on sale at the moment on the Steam store. Oh, hang on. Yep, it is at time of recording. It might not be when the video goes out, so actually scrap that. It might not be on sale. But there's a link in the description to where you can pick the, uh, the, the 444 up, etc. Yeah, that's not brilliant, is it? Right, there we go. We've got the buzz buzz. And uh, and away we go. Hopefully we've done this right. We've not done it right. Why have we not? Have I not pressed the uh, the, the the that? There we go. It's because the uh, the DRA was on. You muppet. Right, full steam ahead because we've got some time to make back. Oh, it's a brilliant unit, isn't it? That fantastic sound when we get to. Uh, 20 mile an hour there. The DC units are of course a little bit slower if you drive the 350 enhancement pack it's a little bit quicker off the mark than the DC. I really like that little detail that they've put that in. I would ideally like it to be a little bit, uh, I'll just ease off a little bit there. What we'll do is we'll uh, we'll we'll just oh, pop it up to full power. I do want like a nice photo of uh, of this like that. That's a good one. You need a good cover photo, don't you? It's all about the screenshot. Oh, what's this? A one five nine on the right hand side here. It's odd that the one five nine stopped here. Manchu, I suppose, is this an is it an Eastley? Is that where they go from here? Oh, it's a 158. It's a two-car 158. Wow! Oh, that's brilliant. Let's nip over and have a look. Where's it going? Oh, it's going to Salisbury, right? Okay. I do miss that Southwest Trains livery. It was such a striking livery, wasn't it, in comparison to what they've got now. I mean, just this in general, this livery. Oh, that's that is beautiful. I like the uh, the turn in the corner shot there. It's a good shot. Yeah, the old stagecoach Southwest Trains livery was just so striking, wasn't it, in uh, in terms of the colour. I think the new livery, it's, you know, the grey, the dark blues, it's, it's just quite a drab colour scheme in comparison. You know, the, the stagecoach, such a bright, bright, eye-catching livery with the reds of the, uh, of the metro services, the blues of the high capacity. I should have given him a two. There we go. I don't know what it is that I'm missing, because uh, I, I have had this route for a while. I do own the route, and it's from Dovetail Games, so I really don't understand why we've got milk bottles in the track. It seems such a bizarre thing. I mean, we've always got milk bottles in the track, but, uh, you know, it just seems a little bit weird that Dovetail, a route that you buy off, uh, off, the, off the store, has got milk bottles on the track. Right, what time are we meant to get to Brockenhurst? At 10.37? 
Yeah, I don't think we're doing five minutes, 11 miles. I forget what these like on the old braking. Have to brake a little bit more than that if you're slowing down in time. Look at that, just about. That's cutting it fine, isn't it? Flinging round to the, flinging to the left, blooming hummer. I have driven this route before, but uh, it's not one of those routes that I know particularly well. So I've not spent a lot of time on it. I, I do think the route's quite short, really. It was one of those that you got with uh, a version of Train Simulator. I can't remember which version it was. Because obviously they mix and match every year when there's an update. Now it's gone to Train Sim Classic. I don't know if they're going to be mix mixing and matching the routes anymore. go up to 60 this is going to be uh, yeah we'll see how much time we can make up Got a little level cross in here yeah it would be nice if like you could drive all the way down to Weymouth for example it, it seems like just a, a bizarrely short route in comparison to a lot of a lot of the others I mean what was the previous route before the Southampton main line it was North Wales coastal that you got off the top of my head um, you know, which from, where's it from, Crew to Landed? no? It's just a long way, isn't it, whereas this just isn't. Very odd, very odd, but uh, hey-ho. I don't know what route you get with Train Simulator now, if you buy Train Sim Classic, it might be this one. I'm, uh, I'm not sure, it's that many years since I bought Train Sim. I mean, you think all the years of Train Sim we've been playing on this channel. You know, it's, uh, yeah, it's a long time since I purchased Train Sim. Ooh, 90 mile an hour. Let's see if we can get all the way up to 90. I'm not hopeful, to be honest with you, because uh, they're not the quickest, are they, on uh, on DC? I say on DC like they, they can be on AC. They can't. There's no coat hanger. No coat hangers to be found here. Look at that. Oh, they do sound good, don't they? I know that there's... There's not a lot of sounds to them, but just those run sounds, absolutely brilliant. Oh, that's the, uh, oh, give them a little toot, the, uh, the workers on the track there. Oh, we're not quite getting to 90, are we? We get to 80, though. What are we, 83? How long do we leave it? I reckon until about until about there, then we'll have a little cheeky little bit of braking. Oh, it's a staggered platform. Look at that. Oh, hang on. That's oh, brilliant, isn't it? You never quite get the same sensation of speed on train simulator that you do in real life, but uh, but still, we look like we were absolutely belting through there, didn't we? I should have looked at what the name of the station was. Does anybody know? There's a lot of uh, chaps in orange uh, on and about the line today. Do you reckon there's some sort of trap defect they've not told us? I wish they would tell us, you know, us lot belting along at this speed. You've never said belting along in your life and you said it twice, nay, three times in this one episode. Maybe that's going to be the new, uh, the new thing. to 90 this time aren't we it's quite a pretty little line it's quite a pretty line and I am a lover of third rail the the juice rail is uh, it kind of divided in opinion personally I wouldn't want to work uh, work trains down here because it does sort of scare me a little bit you know you could step on it and you know melt from the inside out it's not nice is it not nice to think about but uh, yeah it, it does 
scare me, but at the same time, you think it's they're so much prettier, like the roots, because you've not got all the stanchions, you know, in terms of other people looking onto the line. It's, it's not as much of an eyesore as overhead wires. But then again, you do have that sort of, you know, you might say, uh, oh, what's this? What if I do that? Would that be a good shot? Ooh, that is a nice shot. Look at that. Oh, it's pretty. All the muggins here forgot to... Right, hang on. Now, that's not as good. But we'll still go with it and see what happens. There we go. Look at that. You can never have too many nice photos like that. You absolutely cannot. that mouse out of the way. It's not very realistic, is it, driving along with the mouse cursor in the middle of the windscreen? Sorry, that's my fault. I always forget to, uh, to, to take into account things like that. It's terrible, isn't it? You should submit a complaint to the, uh, to the highest order. I didn't realise it was this far from Southampton to Brockenhurst. When you uh, when you think of the cross countries, I mean, we we very rarely uh, travel this far south. But yeah, you always hear them talk about Southampton uh, Airport Parkway, Southampton Central, etc. Uh, etc. Et Brockenhurst and Bournemouth. It just all it's it's like this this place that you you've never been to. I have been down here, but. You don't imagine Southampton and Bournemouth to be that far away from each other, do you? It's like Brockenhurst, you just think, oh, it's just a, a piddly little station in the middle. It's good to get a lot of running, but these units are quite effortless, aren't they? You know, you... I don't really feel like we're doing 86 miles an hour. I do like the interior though that Dovetail have added since, uh, you know, and you can stand up and that. You can't walk around obviously, but uh, what's that? Oh, is that first class in there? But it is nice that you've got various perspectives on it now. Because I think the original 450 and 444 didn't come with an interior, did they? Because these ones were redone. Yeah, these ones were redone for... Uh, was it this line that they came with? Did you buy them on their own? I genuinely can't remember. Oh, no, it was the new Portsmouth Direct line, wasn't it, that came out? Because they re-released the Portsmouth Direct line. There we go. Let's have a bit of break-in for, uh, for Brockenhurst. Our next stop. Still quite a bit behind schedule, June at 10.37. Trying to leave the brake until the last minute, but uh, given I've not really been on these units in terms of driving them for a long, long time, this is the first time I've driven this 444 in 2023, definitely, but uh, yeah, it's, it's obviously quite a little while since I've driven them, so you don't want to be going too fast either because the brakes, obviously each unit brakes differently. You don't want to go flying through and miss your stop, but at the same time, you don't want to be doing 25 mile an hour a mile away. Have a little bit more there. Oh, it does sound brilliant. I do love these units. Thoroughly miss the Transpennine Express 350s. I know they're not 444s, but uh, yeah, I do miss them. The 350s were very nice units. There we go, right, 85, 85%, stop, doors open. 
Well, what time are we arriving in? 10.37, so it's now 10.42. We're exactly five minutes behind schedule. Come on, guard, let's get those doors open and shut in a hurry. There can't be that many people getting on and off here, can there? Surely not. Oh, there we go, right. Doors are shutting. Oh, there's another 444 coming along. Come on, full steam ahead. There we go. Let's have another photo like that. I do like the... Uh, when you get them together like that, it's a lovely photo, isn't it? Should really have gone from the other side. Yeah, oh, well. Doesn't matter. Let's have another. There we go. Right, 90. Come on, 90 in five and a half miles. New Milton, next stop. What time are we due in there, then? New Milton, uh, 10.44. So we need to be there for 49 to have made up time. Current estimated time of arrivals, 10.48 and a half. But we're going to lose more time than that out by the time we've finished accelerating, because we are losing time. Have these not got a boost mode like the uh, like the Pendolinos? You know, if, if you did have a boost mode, now would be the time. What's that? HSBC? That's a bank, isn't it? I'm sure I've seen somewhere on these that they've uh, power reduction. Oh no, hang on, that's not what we want. There we go. I've just realised, has something come sailing past there? No, it hasn't. Oh, I thought a train had gone past us for a second. Right, so they've got a power reduction. They don't have a boost mode on them. That's good to know. I, th I thought we'd have like a little, you know, a little oomph, a little extra bit of power. We've got 75% of acceleration there. Why not 100%? You're absolutely sure there's no sort of button we can click to make us go faster. The AWS Acknowledge button's not going to make you go faster, is it? Come on, for crying out loud. They do make pretty routes, don't they? For all my uh, my moaning and uh, complaining about things that Dovetail Games do, I've never had a problem with Dovetail routes, apart from the Huddersfield line. Maybe that's because I know that line so well. Every little imperfection that they had, I picked up on. But uh, yeah, all in all, Dovetail's routes are pretty good. And to be fair, the Portsmouth Direct line, with these 450s and 444s, even if you don't have the enhancement pack from Armstrong Powerhouse, it's still pretty good, to be honest with you. I was really, really impressed with it. There we go, we'll have a, a bit of that. Come on, 48 and 32. Ooh, we're actually catching a bit of time up there, if you look at the ETA in the bottom left. Whizzing through that station. Where was that? Anyone know? Empty clue. Shall we, uh, shall we have a look, rather than just going, anybody know? Oh, it's a place called Sway. Never heard of Sway. Anyone else got any ideas about Sway? No? Mm -mm, okay. I mean, if we didn't stop there and wear the express, it can't be, uh, it can't be a particularly big place. Didn't look it, it's just full of trees. Oh, well, we're going to get to 90. Look at that. Another four mile an hour. Hopefully there's no uphill. Oh, New Milton's coming into view. 
My goodness me. What time were we due in again? Let's have a look. 44. So if we can actually get in at 48, we have made up a minute. It's just how how late do you dare leave it before uh, before you start breaking? That is the question. Should we leave it to about 80? 0.8 of a mile? Yeah, let's uh, let's leave it to that. We'll have a bit of minimum brake application, and then a little bit more when we're not braking. <laughs> when you realise you're not slowing down. It's a far cry from the Alan Thompson Sim 185 that can stop on a 10 pence piece, isn't it? Yeah, we're, we're going to need more braking here. We're approaching the station. It's 60 mile an hour that we're approaching. For someone who wants to be a train driver, this isn't a very good advert, is it? <laughs> you know, if, if my future employer was watching this. Mm, yeah, approaches stations a little bit fast. I'm not going to sell myself on the old safety front, am I? Efficiency, maybe, because look at that. We're, uh, that is a good stop. Oh, that would be emergency. So obviously this is long train short platform that's been performed here. I'd imagine, and I've never worked one of these before in my life, but I'd imagine that they'd have a very similar setting. Uh, universal door uh, something or other. It was UDS. Uh, the 185s are fitted with UDB, universal uh, door blocking. Unit door blocking even, not universal. Where have I got universal from? Uh, the 350s had a UDS, which was about here that you, you'd do that and you'd lock an entire set out. So I'd imagine that these would have a similar sort of feature. Man, shoot, for all you know, these things might have uh, selective door opening. It's it's a world that... The Southwest Railway and these zeros is just a world that I know very little about. The whole network, actually, I would like to learn a little bit more about it, but I'm uh, I'm just clueless, absolutely clueless. All the suburban, uh, the South London in general, South West Trains, South Eastern, uh, Southern, there's all these little, it's like a, a massive rat run, isn't it, of, na of uh, lines. So many services, all those metro services in Southern London, all the, uh, the even the intercity services. Such a network of routes. Christchurch, that's in New Zealand, isn't it? Have we taken a wrong turn? Right, we're due in at 51, officially. Again, if we get in for 55, as per the uh, the ETA. But I'm sure the ETA was wrong when we arrived at New Milton just then. I'm not sure. Five miles to Christchurch. Will we get to 90, though? That is the question. We've got a downhill section by the looks of things coming up. Is is that white line on the on the thing at the bottom going down? Yes, it is. Right. Because the downhill section, that's going to get us up to speed quicker. Yeah, that's what we don't need, isn't it? Dropping the DSD. Yeah, try to catch up time and then we end up having to make an emergency stop. That would not be what we need.
Where's this we're going through? Love the little bridge. That's another thing. Hinton Admiral. Look at that, flying through. Nope, Voyager coming the other way. Is that a Manchester Piccadilly? Certainly looks like it. 2215 car. Christchurch fast approaching on the horizon now. Oh, we've got a 60 before on though, so we do need to uh, make a conscious effort to slow down for that, don't we? Okay, just a little bit of minimum break. We're going to need a little bit more braking or we're going to shoot through the station. <laughs> I'm too busy looking at the 60, which of course we've missed anyway. Oh well. I'm sure that when we explained to our driver manager that we had to overspeed because, you know, we were trying to catch up time for, for customer service and all that jazz, I'm absolutely sure that the safety aspect that they're not going to be bothered about. Nope, they'll be, yeah, well, do you know what, Joe, you, you did the best you could. Look at that, gliding in. The ETA is completely wrong, isn't it? 10.54 and 51 seconds, and that still says that we're going to be in for 10.54 and 15. Is that just when we hit the platform? Load on the nose. So we're due out at 10.52, so it's now 10.55 with three minutes delayed leaving. Come on, full steam ahead. Can we actually, uh, if we nip outside now, let's, let's go across to the other side. Look at that. How fast are we going to be by the time, uh, or how fast are we going to be going, sorry? By the time we leave the station. Not actually as fast as I thought we would be. 32 miles an hour. Yeah, they really do seem quite sluggish, don't they? Next stop, Pokes Down. It's an uphill section though. Pokes down 10.55. suppose it's not the worst delay that we've ever carried on train simulator, is it? It's not the worst delay I've ever been on on a train either. But still, even five minutes, the, the punctuality aspect, you know, you like... Yeah. I like to think I'm a very punctual person. Well, generally anyway. Where are 
we next pokes down fast approaching we'll uh, we'll try and actually drive by the rule book this time and uh, and not be speeding round corners problem isn't it i prefer to be on time and then you can plod it's like on omzi i love a good plod along in a bus not rushing you know just taking your time Yeah, I love those little, that little bridge there, that little gap in the, the tunnel arch. Really, really like that. Obviously, with overhead wires, you wouldn't be able to achieve that. So that's another positive aspect of third rail. You can have cute little bridges over the road. Uh, over the railway, even. Heck, we're carrying some speed into this station, aren't we? I wonder, can you fit ten carriages at Pokesdown? time would you win? Wow, we're only three minutes late in. Gonna be even later now because uh, I stopped too soon. And it can accommodate ten carriages, I'm impressed. Another little station that I've never heard of. And ten carriages are accommodated, look at that. Looks like there used to be a, a middle line that went through, but looking at the bridge, maybe... Maybe on the, uh, I'm assuming that's the up line, is it? Yeah. Either that or the people making this platform didn't talk to the people that were making this platform and they ended up building them too far apart and then the railway company just kind of had to go with it. You just never know, do you? It wouldn't surprise me. No, you can see from that line there, there was definitely a, uh, a line that ran through the middle at some point. Off we go. Bournemouth, your next stop in just over one and a half miles. Yeah, it's been quite a nice little run, this. I've enjoyed it. What is it end-to-end? -end? About 40 minutes, if that. 35 minutes, 40 minutes. Yeah, not a bad little run at all. Right, so we've got... Uh, we're 70 at the moment. And then we've got a 45 mile an hour on the horizon. It's going to be quite a slow approach into Bournemouth. What time do we actually get there? Uh, 10.59 arrival, apparently. I'm assuming as well, because I don't think you can run a tank car to Weymouth, can you? So the front will be going to Weymouth. The back set will be going to Bournemouth. It's a shame they couldn't get Bournemouth on the back. Because uh, I, I don't know. I'm assuming they, that they can do it. But like when the 185s, if the front set was going to Newcastle, it would say Newcastle on the front set and Scarborough on the back set, if the back set was going to Scarborough. You'd imagine, with them being Siemens to zeros, you would also have that functionality on this. But maybe the Armstrong Powerhouse Enhancement Pack doesn't let you do that. I don't know. Forty-five. Don't know how I feel slow compared to what we have been doing. <laughs> oh dear. Nice and quick to react on the old AWS as well. Sometimes when you press it, it can uh, it cannot react. As you pressed it, you have to press the key quite hard. But uh, yeah, it's nice and easy. It's a very, very easy train to drive, actually. If you're, if you're new to Train Simulator, if you've never uh, done any train sim before, it's definitely a good place to start. It's a really easy train. Oh! Train derailment due to AI collision. Oh, that's Magic Toad's fault there. For goodness sake, we were so close to getting into Bournemouth. Oh, dear, you no. Know. Right, well, there we go. Uh, yeah. That's not brilliant. Ah, oh, such a disappointment. Oh, well, never mind. If you've enjoyed uh, that video up until the disaster, then please do click that like button. It's always appreciated. There's a link in the description to all the bits and pieces that you uh, that you need to go get. The scenario, 
if you fancy driving to almost Bournemouth. And uh, yeah, there's a link to the route, link to the enhancement packs, etc. It's all there in the description. If you've enjoyed the train sim video, again, up to the disaster, then please do consider subscribing so you never miss out on any future episodes of Train Simulator. And other than that, as I say, thank you so, so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.